Hi, welcome back to my football manager. That's FM19 Save, uh, playing as Arsenal. I think in my last video I showed you uh, a win against the old enemy, the North London derby against Spurs, which was quite an interesting game for a number of reasons. Um, one, we went 1-0 down. It could have been 2-0, but Harry Kane missed a penalty. Um, there were some harsh words at half-time. I gave them an absolute rocket. Um, and we came back and basically won the game. We had a, an injury of Socrates, and uh, I think Alex Iwobi got injured late on as well. But it was a good victory, and I've taken you through all my results, and so far we've been very dominant in all of these games. I think Spurs were slightly different. Um, but the manner that we're winning and the number of goals that we're beginning to get is really, really good. And from there we pressed on and we absolutely hammered Newcastle 4-0. Um, you'll notice... A player called Joel Lopez in this starting lineup, who I've now told to train with the first team. Uh, long story short, we got an injury to Kalasinac, we got an injury uh, to Monreal, and fortunately, and I will say it's fortunate because I didn't know, I, truth be told, I didn't even know he was there. But we had Joel Lopez, who was in, the, in our under-18s, and I just basically said, hey, come along and train um, and give you some first-team um, first action. So I'm going to persevere with him. I was, wasn't going to show this game. I was going to go on to the, to the Man United game, which I will still show. Um, but actually, with Joel Lopez, I'm going to start him against Huddersfield. I'm going to record the match. I'm going to show you... Um, but I have actually got, because Nacho Monreal is just coming back, and I think Kalasinac is still injured, yeah. So, I've got Kalas uh, Monreal on the bench. I'm going to go with a really strong lineup. Um, if I take you to my tactic screen. I'm going to go with Leno, Bellerin, Mustafi, Holding, because Socrates is injured. Joe Lopez, like I said. Diawara and Xhaka. I've put Torreira on the bench uh, for a bit of backup. Mkhitaryan playing as an inside forward because Lacazette got injured in my last match, which I'll take you through in a minute. Meza Ozil, Danny Welbeck, and then Aubameyang up front. We've got options on the bench with uh, Niketia, Gwendouzi, uh, Torreya, Ramsey, Mavropanos, Monreal, and of course Czech. But we've really been picking up the injuries here, which is a bit of a concern. Um, so yeah, sorry, where was I? So... That was uh, the Newcastle game. Uh, we played Frankfurt, and again, we, believe it or not, we were losing 1-0 at half-time, which I don't know how because the stats were incredible. If you look at how we dominated this game, we absolutely dominated. 22 shots, 12 on target. Um, but I gave them another rocket at half-time, and just a little bit concerned that we seemed to be really poor in the first half, and then we turn it on in the second. Injury to Lacazette. Like I said, uh, which is why Mkhitaryan gets the nod today. Um, but again, we are dominating games, and it's really, really nice to see the tactics that I've got. I haven't, I've barely tinkered with at all. The only thing that I tend to do is if I put Lacazette on Aubameyang, is make them more of a striker supporting the middleman um, in this sort of role here if it's Lacazette, and likewise, if it's Aubameyang, I just do the same on this side. So this is the team that I'm going with, Alex Iwobi still out injured, and we do have a lot of injuries here, but nevertheless, let's go, we're in good form, we're confident. The only other game which I haven't mentioned until now was the Blackburn game, which I was trying to be too clever, really, and I played a very... Low, so I basically played my Europa squad um, and they scored a last minute winner and this Anthony Pilkington had an amazing game and he really did cause us problems I'd already made all my subs to try and change the game around I thought we were going to run out winners and look I took a gamble and it lost and we lost 3-1 3-2 in the end um, if I was to show you yeah so there you go Charlie Mulgrew with a last minute winner and I might as well show it. There 
I was expecting you to show the actual incident, but look, no complaints, we deserve to lose. So we're going into Huddersfield now, away. Huddersfield are rooted bottom of the table. And yeah, looking forward to um, to a good game. I've noticed actually in this, um, in FM19, there seems to be a lot more players that are highly rated, you know, to five or four and a half to five stars. And I, okay, so here's the tactical briefing. It's going to be quite simple. I'm going to say that we're doing a 4 2 3 1 wide. Everyone loves it. And end it there. I've already selected the team so everyone knows who's playing. And when we're the injured, see that we're getting so many goddamn injuries. And really, that affects our attacking options, to be honest. We're really running out of attacking options on the bench. It'll have to be Joe Willock. So Tottenham Burnley is the other game in Chelsea Bournemouth. See what the scores come in in the other games. Bournemouth now resumes full training. It's only 72% condition. So Spurs drew, so that's interesting. Uh, Bournemouth uh, and Chelsea. Oh, they must be playing at the same time. Okay, so we know what team we're going with. Like I said, I'm playing Xhaka in the box-to-box -box because I think that's probably the better of the two to have him in, uh, with Diawara being the destroyer. We do have on the bench Torreira as well, which can give us another option there. Both Mavra Palmas and Monreal are looking knackered. Um, and so is Gunduzi. I must have had him playing for the reserves, maybe. Um, in fact, I tell you what, let's take... Gunduzi out and put our in because he's got a better condition. And Lick Steiner in for Mavropanos purely just because they're looking knackered. Now I must have must have played them in the reserves. Um, other than that, a fairly similar looking lineup. Let's go to match. So we are away, but I'm going to be demanding quite a lot of them. Yeah, they've got quite a defensive lineup. So I don't want to be that demanding. Your favourites for a reason go out on me. Let's talk about the fans. They've travelled a long way to Huddersfield. Okay, well that did nothing. So I will tell the fence I expected to see some solid work. We want a clean sheet. I'm going to say to the midfield that I've got faith in them. And I'm going to say to our striker. Um, that I'm expecting to see some goals. Last time that worked out quite well. I think I did that before the Spurs game. So, right, let's go. <sighs> One fan already. Looks like they're taking it to us. So let's go for a positive outlook and try and take the game to them. We should be winning this with absolutely any issue. We started quite slowly. It looks like we're coming into our own now. Danny Welbeck picked... The amount of injuries I'm getting is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, considering the training workload. Um, and it might have to be Nicotia... Niketia, Niketia, um, on for Welbeck, for Aubameyang, like I said, in that sort of complete forward support role. The only thing I don't like about that is that Joe Lopez, being a debutant at left back, could... OK, so Huddersfield go on the attack, and what a save. 
Okay, maybe it wasn't a save. Guys. Our one Diawara, Mesut. Granny Xhaka. Comes forward with the ball, gets easily dispossessed there. One on Xhaka wins it straight back. Diawara. Was that ball? Diawara again, Mesut. Danny Welbeck. Come on, Ober. How did he miss that? Strange opportunity. Well, we'll see if Danny Welbeck can make it to half time and then we'll take him off for Nicotia because his physical condition is dropping. Ober again. Do you want Granit Xhaka? Feels like we're just getting a little bit more into this game now. Xhaka. Hits it from outside the box. Okay. Come on, let's go on before half time. Is it ball in? What's that? No, it must be a penalty. Should be Obamiang taking it. Yes, over. Good. Get in. All right, one now, and we made this a lot harder work. Nevertheless, we're going hopefully at the break one nil up. Let's see the replay. It wasn't a great penalty, was it? I. Okay. Bellerin has won and lost possession more than any other player on the team. Good number of touches of the ball in the penalty area. Good. Move the ball into the attacking third of the pitch from positions on the left. Which is very interesting considering that's kind of our weaker side. So, team tool. I'm going to try and demand more. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. And that did nothing. Okay. Um, you can improve I have faith in you I have faith in you and all right you got the goal but you can still improve as well all right I said I'll take Danny Welbeck off at half time but maybe I'll give him another 10 I can't believe how much we struggled in this game, though. But we don't need to rock the boat. Okay, let's take Welbs off. So what we're going to do, we're going to put Eddie on and give him a run out. Take Welbeck off. We're going to swap him with Aubameyang. And we're going to go Aubameyang as a complete forward in support mode. We're going to have Eddie as an advanced forward. You see, and if we had Lacazette, we'd put him on that other side, but we don't have him. Who else is struggling? So, Granit Xhaka's not having the best of games. So, let's swap out Granit Xhaka for Torreira. And then we're going to swap Torreira and Diawara over. So, Diawara is going to be the box to box now. I'm tempted to put Lipsteiner on at left back, but Joel Lopez hasn't put a foot wrong, so it's really unfair to hook him. I just feel like it would be stronger, because I've kind of got Torreira doing the covering there anyway. Just with such a... Okay, we'll keep it like that for now, but we've got one more substitution in the bank, so to speak. So we're starting to get on top of the game now. Holding. Okay. 
I don't miss it. Mickey. I haven't seen much of Mickey in this game, have we? Bellarine. Terrell mopping that up nicely. Mustafi looks for Bellarine, who gives the ball away again. Diawara. Terrera. Diawara again. He hits it. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. What minute are we on? 69 minutes. Right, who's anyone looking tired? Diawara is. Okay. So is Joel Lopez. Right. I kind of feel like... So we're going to put Lick Steiner on for Joel Lopez. And this is nothing personal. This is trying to look after a win. Away from home by putting on an experienced head for someone who's tiring. That's all it is. The next thing we're going to do is do a shout and we're going to tell everyone to... Concentrate. 26. Didn't seem right to take Diawara off because he's put in a decent performance today. Torreira. Ball in, what's that? Free kick to Huddersfield. Okay. Fine, well I'll take that. It was hardly vintage, but um, I'll take that. And Chelsea beat Bournemouth. At least Spurs drop points. So we are top after eight games. Eight games and eight wins. I can't see that lasting, but it's good while it's there. And yes, yeah, Spurs down to eighth. They made what have they done? Sold Harry Kane or something? No? Okay. Well, yes, yeah, so the Gunners win against uh, Huddersfield. Okay, Donald Robert's only out for a couple of days, so that's good. I could do with some of these players coming back. And yeah, that's nice. So we've got Man United in 13 days. I'm tempted to put this onto this video. Anyway, yeah, so that was that. I'll come back uh, next time with probably the Man United game, which is the next up on the schedule. It's in 13 days, so it's a little while ago, a little while away. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much.